got this like a death. Do you want the bit put it to touch? Slow and fast. Just give it to me, give it to me once. Ah, my vombor. That would become a poto gororwa. Uh. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Yemurai, Yemurai Choto. Keep up with the vibes. As you guys can see, today we're keeping up with a bit of color in our hair. And as you guys can already tell, this is another wig installation video. Before we go anywhere, I would just like to give a big thank you to today's sponsor, Miss Lin Hair. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you're a new subscriber, if this is your first time watching my videos, thank you so much for joining us today i hope that you like the content i hope that you subscribe and i hope that you share with your friends and your family so guys without wasting any time let us jump right into today's video okay guys so jumping right into the video this is what the box looks like this is what the wig came in this is a very very pretty box anything pink you guys know i like pink it's just written miss lynn focus on 100% human hair and then their whatsapp number their email service at misslinhair.com and then there's a barcode that you can scan when i opened it there is a pair of lashes thank you so much for that a pair of 3d lashes a headband to secure your lace and stuff when you're installing the wig wig caps there's actually two of them and then obviously the wig this is literally my first time trying a colored wig just running my fingers through it i can really tell that it is good quality it is light it is soft so just to give you guys Oops. just to give you guys some information about this hair this is their 14 inch 13 by 6 bob wig 427 highlighted and it is a straight wig with 150 percent density i'm really really excited to try this wig and if it's 13 by 6 as you guys can see this middle parting can go all the way back there which i absolutely love i'm gonna try this out today i'm a little bit scared but you know what if i lay it good i'm gonna look good and i'm gonna feel good okay one thing that all these glues and stuff will do when you're wearing wigs is that they could really really damage your hairline so i'm trying to avoid that by all means the first thing that i'm going to do before i even put it on is i'm going to cut off this extra lace that's at the back here As you guys can see right now, this wig is not plucked, it didn't come pre-plucked and because I'm not really comfortable in my plucking skills yet, I'm not going to go ahead and pluck it. However, if I was going to do something a little bit back, like pushing it a little bit back and stuff, I would have definitely done that. What I don't want to do is damage the hair and because I'm not really comfortable with my skills yet, I'm not going to pluck the hair. Just by looking at it already, I'm liking how it looks. Cut off the ear tabs. This is just to make sure that the wig fits me perfectly. So now that the ear tabs are off, what I'm going to do next is just put foundation onto the lace just so that I can match my skin tone. I'm also going to put some foundation along this parting here just so that the parting is nice and defined. So I've just placed the hair back onto my head and already I can see the difference. So now I'm going to get into the tricky part, which is cutting the lace. Just so that I can see what I'm doing, I'm just going to use these hair clips. I can move all the hair back and not have anything in the way. I'm just going to see where exactly I want my hair to be. I don't want to be seeing my cap. This is where I want my hair to start. Fold this back. I'm just going to clean the part that I'm going to put my got to be spray with a wet wipe just so that i can remove all the oils that are there right now i'm gonna glue it here i just spray a little bit on to where i want my wig to be laid 
and then i just use the end of my comb just to spread that glue i'm just gonna go around with that glue i'm not really going to stress about how the excess glue is going to look in the end because i can always use a wet wipe to wipe that off later so what i'm gonna do next is just go in with a blow dryer I'm just going to pull the lace back so that I can glue that on. I'm just using the back of my comb just to flatten that. And then I'm going to use the hairband just to make sure that my lace is nice and laid down. So now that this is down, I'm just going to leave it for about 2 to 5 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to get my straightener, my hot comb all ready so that I can style the wig. I'm going to be using an eyebrow razor. I got this from Kmart. And right now I can already see some excess glue over here. But then I'm not going to stress too much about it because I can always wipe it off with a wipe after. So this is the finished look with the hair. Honestly, I'm absolutely in love with it. At first I was a bit scared, but then now that it's all done, it's straight, it is laid. 
Mm. If you watched the video until the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, thank you so much to Miss Lynn here for sponsoring this video. Absolutely in love with it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Next week, same time, same place. I'll catch you guys in my next video.